Okay, and I'm going to pick up from where we kind of left off since you already have the login info for QuickBooks and you know which PayPal account to use. So we were trying to refund that Amber, um, was it Shariza, for William Scarborough. And I, um, I'm going to try this again now that I have internet. So again, we said she paid on 826. And, or Shimizu, I guess is her name. She paid on 826. And so we're gonna go into PayPal. Which I thought I already had this set up for Jeff's, but I guess not. Hold on one second. Sorry. Okay. So we're just going to go into payments receipt. Sorry, I'm trying to look at this on the screen and hold the video camera, which isn't working. Click on payments received. Put in the date. And I'm doing 825 to 827. Why did that not take it? 825 to 827. Where our PayPal is acting weird. Okay, this should work. All right, so there is Amber. We already talked about that. It's under a different name, but you know how to check to make sure they're the right people. So all you do is go to the drop down box, click refund, issue refund. At this point, you're going to put in damage deposit return. I'm typing with one hand here, sorry. Okay, and then you just hit continue. At this point, I copy the transaction code. You can do control C, you can do right click, copy, whatever you wanna do. Just copy that. At that point, go to QuickBooks. We're gonna click on this, which I was trying to show you originally, but it wasn't working. Click on the plus sign. Go to expense, just the second column. Here's where you put in the name. So this is gonna be Amber. Oops. Amber Shimizu. Next to it, it automatically says PayPal. You just leave that alone. No, it's a little blurry. Then you make sure the date that you're like today's date is correct, which that is. Payment method is going to be security deposit. Wait, hold on. I screwed this up. Sorry, 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 sorry. After Amber's, it's not gonna stay the same. This is where you're gonna put in security deposit. So literally just type S and that's gonna pop up, security deposit. Then go to the date, that's correct. Now this is where it just says PayPal. That's all it needs. Reference number is that code you just copied from PayPal. So I'm going to hit Control V or my paste button and that puts it in. That's how we can track it if we need to go back and verify things. So now under account, which is right here, click on that. You're going to type R for refund. It should pop up. You're going to see all the houses that we could possibly refund. And this one is obviously William Scarborough, so I'm just going to scroll until I see that. And I'm going to click on it. That's how we categorize it. It's very important to get the correct house. And then I usually just put DD for damage deposit under the description. Now here is where you need to be careful. The amount is always going to be 194.20, not 200. And if you go back to PayPal, you'll see they take their fees out. 
so that makes the fee after the fees taken out it's the 194.20 so the amount we are actually refunding is 194.20 the only time that's different is if it's someone from out of the country if it's Canada or Mexico the fee is a little bit different so if you know that I mean regardless just always check make sure it's 194.20 sometimes it's going to be more like 192.20 so just be sure to check that but when you put it in the expenses in PayPal it's going to be 194.20 or whatever the amount is based on where they're from just know you're not going to put in 200 once that's done you go to the bottom right hand corner and click save and close you just entered it in QuickBooks so now we need to finish the process we know that's all set up click issue refund and I actually because I was explaining that I did it a little bit different I would normally click issue refund before submitting it totally in QuickBooks just to make sure it goes through but you get the idea after that go back to the payment tracker and what line was she 42 type in today's date so we know it was returned so 930 and then the last thing you do is email the guest and let them know that they have received their damage deposit return I think I've sent you that template but um, I'll send it again to you the one that says thank you for staying with us that thing um, so if you have any questions let me know it's pretty straightforward um, but if you come up with any problems you know just let us know and I think that's all